by the Spirit of the Lord. 1 Corinthians 2.14 But the natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him, nor can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. The word of the Lord. The actions, good ones, that we do as Christians are not done of ourselves because we are good. They are done through the presence of the Holy Spirit in our lives. We do not instantly become saints at the point of accepting Jesus Christ and will therefore not begin or to portray a life of kindness, long-suffering, righteousness, and commitment to Him right away. In the text I've just read, but the natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him, nor can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. Paul is aware that only the Spirit of God can make us into the type of Christians God wants us to be. It is he who teaches us how to live a life pleasing to him in our natural state, faith, charity, peace, and other gifts. These gifts of the Spirit which are really important to us. We do not seek to obtain these gifts because the spiritual man is being suppressed by the natural mind. Through prayer, Christians can invite the Holy Spirit into their lives. He will teach us how to yearn for and enjoy the things of God. His presence in our lives will propel us to feed the spiritual man on God's word, strengthening our lives in Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit living in us, we can live the Christian life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Father, thank you for this word today. Thanks for reminding us that the natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit of God. For these things are foolishness to the natural man. Nor can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. But thank you for sharing your spirit to us and your word through us that we can live in you and you in us. We pray that thou remember your precious people across the world today. Especially these who are viewing. May your hand be upon them. Bless Maxine Johnson. Bless Janet Harrison. Bless Nolan Redgard and Rachel Rose and all the others who are viewing this telecast today. And may your hand be upon their lives. May they not practice social distance with you, but may they feel the warmth of your chest as you hug them with the embrace of your arms. In Jesus' name. My thought, Holy Spirit, live in me. Holy Spirit, speak through me. Reveal yourself that I may see the flood of joy received from thee. Have a good and godly day.